What the? We're gonna get. We're gonna. This guy is constantly like on the air. And I know. Famous. It's like, is there something on my head? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I just saw. I like, saw. I, I feel that. I feel we're like they were both being interviewed. I know. I'm like, oh my god, am I ready for this? Oh, uh, it's not it that. Cracks me the fuck up, but dude, I have some shit to do. I have to do. We just recorded a song. Yeah. We just recorded a creepy Halloween song. Oh, do you sorry. have internet in here? I can play the song for you, like right now. No, I, I'm doing something. <laughs> I, I can't do this and that. No. No, I want you to meet me at six o'clock. With all right. <clears throat> they, I've asked them for weeks. I asked them for weeks. That's all. Do you know that, like, as far as like throwing rudimentary beats down, Tony De Simone is like one of the best you could ever fucking hope to meet. Yeah. Well, that's why I got the guy, and it'd be nice. I'm, to... I'm not gonna say me included because I don't. I don't. No, you're I'm, strong. I'm. I'm, I'm Fuertissimo, I can do it, you know. I can do it, but, um, you know, not all the time. Thanks for tossing out a little Spanish back there, man. Uh, Can you help us at six? Stick around. I'm going to talk to Raul Vado. Hey, everyone. Hey, Raul. Do you know John Rayburn? Yes. Okay. Let's get into this, man. Sarah, right? Well, I mean, I formally met you at Sarah's house, right? Yes. Which Sarah? She works for the Border Patrol. Border Patrol. Susan. 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 God damn it. See, I was Yeah, it. and I thought Sarah. I screwed up the name. Yeah, because I was thinking Sarah from the Village Farms. Yeah. Oh, I fucked it up. I like her, by the way. She's Susan. Sweet. Sarah. Yeah, she's Susan. a sweetheart. Susan's name. Susan doesn't fuck around. No, she doesn't. She's Susan. a sweet girl. She's straight up. She'll give yeah. you straight. And we're, I was having trouble with the, the straight guy. Yeah, this guy was giving me some shit. I remember I was at this party. This one. Are you recording this? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Anyway, and he was picking on me. Mm-hmm. And I... He was being weird. Yeah. He wasn't hitting. He was just being... Who is yeah. he? I don't know. Um, he was from Austin? Just... The straight cowboy? He, he was some cowboy. He was in the band that night that played at Padres that night. Oh, I don't, I don't and remember. He was, he, was a very, he was being very bizarre to Raul. Yeah. He was being very... It was weird. Like, hate, like hateful, like, some, you know, saying queer this, queer that. Yeah. Together. Really? Yeah. He was being very, very obnoxious. Very obnoxious. And so my Border Patrol agents took care of him. They were cool. It's like, wow. Yeah. Who are the board? Susan or who? Susan so, well, and, and Will. And Will. And oh, good, some other, good. Some other bo- agents. <laughs> they're like, we don't put up with that shit. And, <laughs> you know, yeah. She straight right. up told that guy, like, <laughs> not in my house. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's no hate you, here. You get your hatred the hell out of my house. Mm-hmm. Take your ass and your worthless hatred. So I don't even see his hatred. I just see this guy being obnoxious. You know, you wouldn't even want that if he was talking about. Can I ask you a question? You may. What are you eating there? <laughs> <laughs> that, that makes your mouth so strangely shaped when you Ooh. talk. I'm eating milk madness, and my teeth have a certain resistance to freeze <laughs> cold stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Just thought I'd check. Um, do you ever plan on plugging in this mobile master cool unit and getting it rocking and rolling? Kind of using it as a table. How yeah. dare so. How dare you do that? Like you know, throw it all together and then. You're out. You know? I mean, is, do you think that's a good idea or a bad idea? It's just, it's like, you know, um, I, I, I like to, I like the idea of people gathering together. Are you Spaniard? Stuff. Spaniard? Oh, no. Well, a little bit. My mom's from Mexico. Wait, I, no, am I happy leaving town? I would love, you no, know. No, not are you happy. Are you happy with the idea that, like, you're throwing it together and, like, for, for me, it's like last minute notice. For <laughs> not to, I'm not knocking on you at all. It is not last fucking minute notice, man. I've been telling you for weeks. Okay, you know, I just forgot him every time you told me. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe he was just under a little. Excuse me. <laughs> beer. I can't believe you're recording this shit. You were recording all this shit. He is. <laughs> I, I did was <laughs> yes I have I have been recording it um, but it's good I mean that's what the whole interview process is about I'm probably not going to talk about it anymore because I want to ask Raúl here a few questions I want to say Raúl okay, soy medio mexicano okay, um, on, on that note mm-hmm. I had to go reconvene with mm-hmm. my brosifs okay and I appreciate you doing this because I think it's great it's like pets kids yeah I'm trying kids. to do something for the team and the community. Okay, yeah. word the fuck on up, brother. I'm gonna word see you at six o'clock. Fuck on. Yeah. All right. Uh, have some kin seeds if you can. 
All right. uh, go to the bar. They have some toasted ones over there. Where? At Padres? At Dre's? Yeah. They brief. got some Kin Seeds at Dre's? Some Kin Seeds. Okay. Home roasted and toasted. Well, I did them last year, remember? Fucking good, yes. Remember I knocked them back? Yeah, I remember you having some uh. Kin Seeds. We talked about them. Yeah, they were really good. Um, if you want a good burger and fries, go to... I used to see... Together, it's kind of like the Three Musketeers. Mm, that, kind, that kind of doesn't happen as much more, I don't think. Uh, we all get sick of each other. That's life. Yeah, that's just how it happens. Okay. I'm down for whatever, though. You can count me on that. You can quote me on that. Mm -hmm. All right, gents. See you soon. Right. Okay. All right. That was John Rayburn. He's my buddy. Yeah, he's cool. Have you known him for a long time? Yeah. How long have you known him? Uh, probably about a year. Oh, but uh, wait, did you grow up here? Born and raised. In Marfa, Texas? Yes, sir. Uh, do you find that you sometimes you, <laughs> you'll run across someone you haven't, in a town of 2,000 people that's grown up like, you know, uh, 500 yards from you for like 20, 15 years and yeah. you never met him before? Yeah, it's like, wow. Yeah. It's well, like, that's must. Didn't he grow up here or did he grow up in Alpine or something? I think he grew up in Alpine. Yeah. Oh, wow. um, so, Raul, I'm sorry <laughs> we had so many interruptions. No, that's right. I met you. I probably met you at Susan's. Yes, probably. And then I met you at um, Planet Marfa. Yeah, at Planet Marfa. And then I met you while I was running for school board. You were... Oh, I didn't know. I know nothing about that. When were you running for school board? But I heard you ran for mayor. That's what I wanted to ask you. Yeah, about. yeah, yeah, yeah. When did you run for, run for mayor? Last May. Well, how'd you do? You didn't win. No. I was okay. short like... I was short like... That's fine. You don't need... Just not... Yeah. This. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, so embarrassing of me. <laughs> <laughs> it's so Phase two. I also forgot my laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, well, apologies. Uh, gentlemen, I'll see you later. Okay, okay. see you, John. Oh, um, funny. Okay, so you, where'd you grow up? I grew up, I was born in Alpine and raised here in Morpho. Okay. Mm -hmm. True or false, you speak Spanish? Si. And that's good. That's true. And, <laughs> that bad. and you speak Spanish because you learn it in school. No. You my, speak Spanish because you like self-taught yourself out of... Well, my heritage. What is your heritage? My heritage, it's weird. It's a little bit of Spaniard. Uh -huh. And I come from a little bit of Indian. My great-grandfather... Oh! Sí, sí, se parece un poquito. Sí. Sí. Antes no, no tenía nada, pero no. ya puedo. Mi, mi abuelo... Uh -huh. Uh, he was from España. Uh -huh. He was 6'4", with the bluest eyes. My great-grandmother was 5'4", mm. Cherokee Indian. They had 13 kids all together. Yeah. Well, let me, let's do, go back this way. Where's your uh, mom and pa from, mother and father? My mother and father, they're from here, from the United States. Yeah. But they speak Spanish? They, they, they're, they're fluent in Spanish. Around the house? Around speak? the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, but you were right, actually. My mom... Um, my mom's father, I think, is Spanish. Yeah. I mean, that you know, that's always the case if you dig down deep enough. And yeah, because you got, you can tell. In Mexico, you got yeah. some good, awesome, mm -hmm. handsome features. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, well, so this would I know very little about you. That's the whole point of an interview, I guess. Okay. But I'll give you all my Raúl Lara facts. Okay. You, um, uh, you know Natasha. Natasha. Isn't that her name? She introduced me to you at Planet Marfa. Was it, or was it Marcy? Yes. Well, I guess you don't know either of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Border Patrol. Yeah, her yes. husband's a Border Patrol. Yes, the one with the tattoos. Yes. Yes. How do you know her? They're my neighbors up there in Washington. Oh, you live up there? Mm -hmm. Okay. The other thing I know is that you ran for mayor. Mayor. And you've been here a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you ran for mayor, is there any campaigning or anything? Yeah, there was. There was. But I think people are still. I guess close-minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? No. You're yeah. saying they didn't think you sucked. They thought you were like they don't want a gay guy. They don't want a guy that's like Mexican. Yeah. Or a little well, both. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, I have a feeling this current mayor might not. I have no idea, but I have a feeling that he might not be running. Right. Again, um, I'd actually thought about running for mayor. You should. But no, I'd like you to do it. Actually, right now I got my plate full. Mm -hmm. What's so on your plate? General Dollar. General Dollar. Yeah. Okay, oh, so that was the other thing. So you, apparently, people know you by face from Stripes, Stripes. which used to be mm -hmm. Subway, which mm -hmm. used to be Town and Country. Country, correct. And I went there today looking for you, mm -hmm. and they said that as of today, you no longer work there. Right, 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 right. My, my, 
Last day was yesterday. Yeah. Well, uh, what happened? Did you get fired? No. Okay, I'm yeah. setting you up. Yeah, you are. Okay. Um, actually, I gave my two weeks notice, so it came out to my last day was yesterday, and it so happened that my first day at Dollar General was today, because of the pay period, how it starts. Uh -huh. Yeah. But now people, are you the manager? Mm -hmm. And you were the manager there. I was the assistant manager for. I was the manager for food service. For Subway, Sandra was the manager for the store. Oh, okay, yeah. that's who I talked to. Mm -hmm. So how did you get a walk-into management position at Dollar General? I used the to, biggest store in town. Yes, I used to work for them five years ago mm -hmm. when it was over here in San Antonio. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, it's still on San Antonio. Yeah, but this is like the huge mall. Well, to tell us, what do you think? I love it. Yeah? Yeah. Flesh it out, man. What do you like about it? I just, I just like, it's an awesome store. Well, I'll tell you what I like about it. Uh, uh, you should interview me about what I think about Dollar General. I, I love that the place is clean. Mm -hmm. I like that the people who work there are legit. They're people that you see at Padres sometimes. Right. You know, they're, they're not like uh, right. some people from out of town or shit, yeah. stuff like that. And um, uh, mm -hmm. I like that they have kind of what I want most of the time. Though I would prefer, I wish they had ice cream. They don't. Right. Can you do something about that? Uh, we're looking into that. We're gonna have beer pretty soon. Oh well, there you go. Yeah, Case closed. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, uh -huh. like, uh, they're working on their their license. When do you think that'll come in? Hopefully by December. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, would you rather live somewhere else than Marfa? You know, I've been. I'm 44. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. My best friend lives in Cal in L.A. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Who's Joel, that? Joel Mendez. He's a uh, film producer. Okay, well, you know, I'm going to L.A. tomorrow. Yeah. I live there. Okay, well, hook me up. I will. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's an awesome guy. I don't mm -hmm. know. Do you have Facebook? Um, I, yes. I, I'm, I'm deactivated now, but I'll activate it again if you want to. Yeah. Do, well, I'm, I'm also one of the... I use the Padres Marfa Facebook. Oh, okay. Site. Are you on that one? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Good, I'll get in touch. And uh, he just bought a beautiful house at San Bernardino, him and his partner. Mm -hmm. And so they're really nice. I mean, he's... I mean, he comes once a year. We hang out. We do all the bars, scenes, and everything. It's just awesome. He still has his mother living here, Ms. Mendez. He was the Bella Victorian of 1985. And Marfa. Marfa. So, but this started because I said, would you rather live somewhere else? And No. And the answer is no? Well, I was going to say this, is that um, I asked you about the mayor thing. You said you know, there might be people in this town who are closed-minded. Right. Uh, maybe the town is too small for you. Could be. But... That's just something I have to adjust. Well, and I've lived with it all mm -hmm. my life, so. Well, I mean, it's not that. Me. But you, you have the opportunity to yeah. go to places. Um, if if that opportunity should come, uh -huh. then maybe. You don't see yourself walking out. Uh, of Mar I mean, I to, to me, Marfa, frankly, is if mines are what you're interested in. Marfa is probably the biggest town in all of Texas. Right. Um, right. So I, I don't. I wouldn't worry about yeah, that. Yeah, and I've got my house here. I've got everything. What do you, so. Tell me exactly where you live. Five hundred nine West Washington Street. Who lives around there? Um, it's the right across the high school. Okay. Yeah, I live right across the administration. Huh? Mm -hmm. Do you live? You don't live around the Dunlops, then, do you? Or is it I do. Oh. Yeah, the Dunlops. My neighbors across the street, the Browns, and then I'm next. And you, did you buy that house? Yeah, my mom <laughs> bought it when she became a widow at age 29. She bought it with my my dad's um, uh -huh. insurance money. So th th this kind of comical that two guys, two neighbors were running against each other for mayor. Yeah, uh -huh. it was just like, but you know, it, it's just I don't know. It's just you had to you have had to have lived here back in the 80s to see more of a, how divided it was, like the Anglo's and the Mexicans, and you know, yeah, yeah it was it was bad. How did that change? I don't know. The, I guess coming the new people with Marfa, the, you know. Yeah. yeah. But it's still there. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. Right. But that is not as much as it was back in the '80s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, give me an example of how it was in the '80s. Is there anything you remember? I remember being in high school, mm -hmm. trying out for cheerleader, mm -hmm. and my high school principal said, "No, you can't do it." And I said, "Why?" He goes, "We don't allow guys for cheerleaders." Wow. And I was looking at this huge high schools, 5A, 4A. Mm -hmm. They had guys in there, but not us. 
but back then I didn't think about discrimination like that. No, people, I mean, in high school you just don't want to do your thing. Right. Did, did you know James Scott? Didn't he go to high school? Yeah, he sure did. He sure did. Uh huh. But he's actually younger than. Yeah, he's yeah, a little bit younger, yeah. We're, we're both the same age. Yeah. Uh, but he, I, I mean, frankly, you probably kind of pioneered uh, being gay in Marfa because before you, people probably didn't admit it. Right. After you, it was probably much more of a cakewalk. Yeah. And, and uh, it's funny because my best friend Joel and I, we had a, I mean, my best high school years were the best for them. You just wouldn't believe how many straight guys we did. But that's another story. Oh, no, that is a story. It's <laughs> not another story. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't need to mention names. Yeah. It's just going to be... Yeah, so it, was, it was just an amazing... It's, it's awesome. It was awesome. So you're saying straight guys who didn't admit they were gay. Right. Uh-huh. But they, I'll just tell you, they would probably did have the football guys. Wow, yeah. good. Yeah. Good, I'd love to hear so. it. Well, you know, uh, what was it, Cowboys, Gay Cowboys movie? Uh, uh, Broke Back Man. There you go. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it, it is true that in any town that is not Marfa in West Texas, it still probably yeah. is much more of an issue. Yeah. Um, so, you know, even even now, finally. Right. So. Um, it's all good. It doesn't bother me. All right. What do you do on a, a Saturday night here in Marfa, Texas? Saturday, probably stay on the internet, watch movies, flicks. Mm. Or do, do you have? Are there many gay friends you have in town? Uh, not really. Just I try to. I don't know. I'm just really like. Well, you, and you don't feel like you want to get like break free and go to New York or Los Angeles or something. You know, I, when my bro, my best friend was in Columbia, New York, he's always invited me. I thought, Joel, I'll go, I'll go see you. Never did. Mm. And now he's inviting me again for. Uh, Last year for his forty-fourth birthday, and I didn't go. It's like, what the fuck, Raul? Yeah, well, what yeah. what is the fuck, Raul? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've got money, I've got cars. I mean, there's nothing. I don't know. Well, you seem comfortable here, but it does seem like you could, you know, I could use a little, a little bit. bit of yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I could. Li- um, you know, and also Southwest doesn't charge that much to get you to LA. No, last weekend I went with my niece because she's married to a military guy for Blizz and. I had the best time. We went to uh, the O Planet, the OP in El Paso. It's kind of like a gay bar. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. But a lot of straight people go there. A lot of military go there because mm-hmm. of, I guess, the music. They say, but it was nice. It was really nice. So, Raul, if you're hanging out at home so much, have you felt any impact from um, all these uh, new places opening up? Planet Marfa, Padres, Tacos del Norte, ya tiene um, beer right. and wine, uh, that kind of thing. It doesn't seem like the, the uh, what would you call it? I wouldn't say a party town, but the idea that Marfa is now not a place where you have to hang out in someone's house. Right. Um, has that had any impact no, on it? No, you know, change is good. Yeah, but it, it, is it a change that you're even participating in? No. I don't know why. Uh-huh. I see. Yeah. Well, I hope. And I usually I like to go out. Like, if I do go out, I, I start with uh, Jets Creole because I, I love the atmosphere there. Carlitos. Okay. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. Good. Carlos Luján. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then from there I go on to Padres. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Halloween. Halloween. Are you going to participate in our pl- in our parade tomorrow? Maybe I've got my Bijan for say puro. Well, please. Should I do. dress him up? Yes, you should. And the other thing is, bring. A noisemaker, a pot, a whistle, you know, a pan, uh, a bucket or something, and join the, the drum parade. Cool. The um, Little Monsters Pep Parade Marching Drum, I don't want drum and whistle, man. I mean, but it, I hope it turns into a tradition. Yeah, it's yeah, just going to yeah. be a bunch of people making noise for about 20 minutes, scaring the pets, possibly. You never know. Uh, well, what, what else? What else you can tell me? You, I don't. I'm not sure if I believe you that you uh, hang out at home. You've been here for 44, 44 years. Years I hang out. I'm kind of like a loner. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Which is sometimes good, sometimes bad. But... Snappy dresser. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have to wear all black? Mm-hmm. For yeah. managers. I see. Yeah. Well, it has a, a little bit of a Johnny Cash feel to it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then when I do go out, I like, you know, I like to dress up. Let me throw some names at you. Yeah. This town is consumed with. Donald Judd minimalist art mm-hmm. um, influence. Did that mean anything to you when you were growing up? He had an impact. Uh, actually, I went with um, Rainer and, and Flavin to school. Uh huh. Yeah, they were here for a couple of years at J- public Did you schools. know Juni? Juni Villarreal? Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh, you like him, huh? Yeah. yeah he's a good guy. He's a good guy. 
Um, actually, he's one of the natives from here, him and his brothers and his family. They still have a house on the other side of the tracks. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. But he does I mean, I see him... And he comes, I guess, and goes from here to Las Vegas? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know, he said he went to school with the kids, too. Yeah. yeah. But what about the art? I mean, have you ever been into art? Are you... Yeah, I... What kind of stuff do you like? Just... I don't know, I just have to see it. Like, wow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, just... Um, do you have any magazine subscriptions? Yeah, you can you can let us know. Yeah. What do you have? Ah, uh, God Almighty, I've got uh, Freshman. Freshman. Yeah. Don't know. No, no, do, no. do they wear clothes? I uh, know. Okay. Yeah. Any, um, what, what else? God, out. I know out, but that's I associate out with like city. Yeah. Okay. okay what else? Yeah. Um, what else is in my bathroom? Um, I was looking, you are not an artist. Is that what you're telling me? You don't go home and paint or draw? Or no, no, I don't do that, all that, yeah. Uh -huh. But, but I, I respect the art. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm the same way. I didn't come to the town for that. I respect yeah. it as well. Yeah. Um, I like music. Which music do you like? I like all of the variety. Do you dance? Yeah, I do. Do you two-step? Mm -hmm. That's very Texan of you. What else do you do? I, I like uh, Mexican dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two-step. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just... So you, when you say you're, you're a bit of a loner, do you uh, project you'll like uh, come to a restaurant or post office and start shooting people anytime soon? No, God forbid, no. Okay, yeah, just ask. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm hoping that I would meet somebody soon because I'm not getting any younger. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting yeah, any yeah. younger. Well, this is not, I mean, there, listen, I'm telling you nothing you don't know, but this town is changing faster than any other town in this area, and uh, it's getting lots of people from other places, lots of peaceful visit, visitors. It's probably the most gay-friendly town in Texas. Right. However, the numbers are still not on your side. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, but they look better than what they did a Yeah, year. oh my gosh, and they'll yeah. probably look better next year. Right. And so forth. Yeah. Is there is there any type of um, gay community in Marfa, or is it just like a bunch? Because it doesn't seem like there needs to be. Because no, I think there's a variety of everyone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, right? There doesn't seem to be any specific reason for um, people to group together. Right. To no, because you know, I, I don't. I don't want to like that because I've got my my gays, my straight <laughs> cowboys that are really good friends of mine, mm -hmm. straight, and so I've got a variety of friends who have reached out, respected me and for who I am and you know, they don't consider or hold my my sexual you know, mm -hmm. against me. It's just You're right. I am who I am. Well, you know, there I wish I could remember this. Do you ever listen to This American Life? <coughs> it tells a story about this town, a small town, conservative town somewhere, I can't remember, where um Jasper. This guy, uh, not in Texas, this guy starts cross-dressing. He's in high school. See, I'm not into that. He, I don't even know that he's gay. He starts cross-dressing, and then he gets, uh, I think, like a sex change operation, maybe? Mm -hmm. Anyway, then he runs for mayor, and he wins. And people in the town are like, oh, you know, that's little Bruce. Uh, he's a responsible guy, kind of weird dresser or whatever. And... Um, People from another town, I don't know, people from another town come to pick it, Christians, obviously, from another town come to pick it, and uh, the town pick its back. They say, they basically say, fuck you, this is our mayor, and we choose him, and right. we know him, and we like him, and, uh, you know, we, it, it, it was this weird situation where people who are conservative, they basically put loyalty to their citizens. Right. And no, having known them for years and years ahead of any type of extra prejudice right. that might be kind of thrust on them by the customs of the country or the customs of society. Uh, and that's a long way of saying that I think that um, that's probably true in Marfa, too. Like, growing up here gives you exemption from, right. you know, knowing someone for 25 years sure. gives you exemption from what that person would normally think. Right. So... Yeah, because I've never been seriously threatened or, you know, uncomfortable. Well, yeah, it won't happen now because everyone knows you. Right. <laughs> but like, like that cowboy, he didn't... 
he didn't make me feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. because I just like you know I just, mm-hmm. just tuned him out. Yes, I, I I kind of agree. I mean, probably made other people right. feel uncomfortable, and that's what I think. That's what he was getting at us because I was like, whatever, you know. Uh, but who are your friends here? Uh, best friend. Best friend here. BFF. I don't. Quickly, who is? It? Come on. I don't. You don't. You don't have a BFF. Interesting. What do you spend your money on? Myself. Drugs. Clothes. I don't do drugs. No. So, you spend on clothes, man. I mean, you're you're. No. Just me. Do you save a lot of money? I do. I okay. really do. You know what I'm working on right now? No. Is a uh, 2008 BMW Z4. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. And um, that's why I'm waiting for the call. Wow. So you will have the best car in town. I hope. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Man. Well, that you just bring up an interesting point. You go to Los Angeles and you just another guy to BMW. But right. if you stay here, you got the best car in town. That's right. That's something to think about. Oh. Um, and that's always been one of my goals. <coughs> My BMW. When was the last time you had a party? A get together, a dinner party or something? Two weeks ago. Who came? No, no, no. Uh, at the, the girl Susan's house. You went? Yeah, I went. Okay. Yeah. When are you having your, your next party? I don't know. Have one in January. Invite me. Really? Yeah. Let's say I'll be back in January for sure. Okay. You gotta get my email. I'll do that, but I'll, I'll just Facebook. But I want you to have like an actual party. Invite Susan. Invite me. Uh huh. Does Susan have a boyfriend? She's a little tough. I'm afraid she might, like, shoot me or something. There's something about Suzanne, but I won't say on the microwave. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I would love... This This is what I'm picking up from you. I'm going to analyze Raul right okay. now. Quiet. You think I'm quiet? I think you're quiet. I mean, some people, you know, like, or whatever... Uh, you're going to shut her up. Yeah, I say... So you came here in 1994, and then an hour and a half later, she finishes answering. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, some people talk a lot. You, yeah. you don't. Uh, at least not about yourself. Well, because I don't like. I don't feel like. Hmm? Wanna, like, build myself up to something that I'm not. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. You've ma- you're the manager of the biggest store in town, or well, I guess you're one of a few managers. No, I'm the only. You're the only manager. How'd you get that? The manager for the, yeah. Yeah, well, how'd you get that? I, um, the general manager from the region, he, he lives in El Paso. I went out to uh, buy a couple of things, and Rachel had, wasn't there anymore, no the previous manager, uh-huh. Wally, and I was dressing my subway, and the lady says, you know, you look nice. I said, who do you work for? And I guess, I don't know, she was like, you know, the store doesn't have a manager. I said, oh, the tech says assistant manager for Stripes. I said, oh, yeah. I said, I've worked, uh, I've worked uh, for Stripes five years ago in the past. And she goes, do you mind if I get your number and your uh, full name and I'll have somebody contact you from the dollar store? I said, sure, that's not a problem. Within an hour, he calls me. He looked me up. He already did a whole scan of me. Mm-hmm. He goes, you know, the computers tell me that you worked for Dollar General five years ago. I said, uh, you left good, you're rehireable. And I said, can I set up an interview with you? I said, wow. And I said, well, I said, I mean, I'm not looking for another employment because I was really comfortable with my, yeah. my I love my Border Patrol agents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're just like, I mean, that's my, that's like my bread. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Well, why do you, how do you know the Border Patrol people? For breakfast, lunch. What do you mean? You know them from Carmen's? No, 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 from Subway. They were, oh, like, they were oh. like my regular people. Oh, so so Subway. Okay, well, let's jump into that a little bit. So was the Subway job meaningful to you? It was, because I've met a lot of interesting people. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and Border Patrol were among them. Yeah, and that was, those were my, probably the, the regulars, my regulars. Cause, right. Yeah, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. How long did you have that job? Two years. What did you do before that? I work at Riata Restaurant in Alpine. Oh, I love that place. Yeah. And how long did you do that? I did that for four years. Okay. And then they sent me off to training in uh, Fort Worth at the Sundance Square. Have you been there? No. It's beautiful. That's the original. They have two restaurants. Uh-huh. One in here in Alpine and one at Sundance Square in, in uh, Houston. So what kind of training did you do? Were you a manager? Today? Manager. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's interesting. Uh, was it a come down then to go from that beautiful restaurant to Subway? No, 
I just, I feel, I mean, you know, I can do any job that I'm placed into. Okay, so, so let me just, let's keep going back. What'd you do before Riata? Riata, I did home and health. I did like wheelchairs and in Alpine at Real Alliance Medical. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, so you really are a local guy. You probably know, that's, you know, you, you know the ins and outs of these businesses. Uh, and the one that was trying to recruit me to go work for them was the uh, Big Ben Hospital. Right. The CEO. He you would had, have been great at that. He had come in one time to eat, and he says, wow, with your personality, I want you. And I said, well, I'm not looking for a job. But you know, I've, I've, to be honest with you, I mean, God's been really nice to me. I've been blessed in my life, I feel. Well, the feeling of being being blessed is proof of being blessed. Right. Because um, you know? some people never feel that way. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think I'm... I'm uh, stuck up, okay. you know, I take things in stride and I'm humbled, I don't. Why did you leave Riata? I was forced to leave Riata. Why? I felt like the manager. Is that what it's called, Riata or Rialta? Uh, Riata. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think he never liked me, to be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he pushed you out? Mm -hmm. He gave me a servant's pay for six months. Oh, well that's nice. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was there, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, well, I said, why? And then he goes, well, he, he's, I said, you, we don't need your services anymore. I will tell you that it seems like it's almost totally women, the wait staff there. Yeah, um, yeah, and see, I was, I was headed towards males. Mm -hmm. Because in, in Fort Worth, oh my God, the guys rocked. Mm -hmm. It's like coming out of Abercrombie, I mean, beautiful kids. But of course you had university guys, you know? Right. You had all these teeny boppers going to school. And this in Fort Worth? Yeah, this was in Fort Worth. So I tried to bring a little change to it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, yeah, you can't. They didn't like that? Yeah, they didn't like that. Because I was just trying to, you know, what, what mix, kind of change? mix a little bit of male mm -hmm. um, wait, wait staff in the... Oh, I see. Yeah. You were hired, you could hire and fire? Yeah, I had the male. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow. But I, the, the problem I was running to, I couldn't get any males to apply. Right. Wow. Well, welcome to Texas. So, yeah. Hmm. Um, do you have a significant other? Is there a Mr. Raul? Uh, no, sir. Uh -huh. It's me only. Uh, for and now. My and my dog, Happy. For now. For right now. Are you the dog? Okay, yeah. I hope the dog joins the parade tomorrow. Yeah, he's a Bichon for the say. Uh, let me just go a few, few things, and then uh, we'll edit it down. And I'll uh, tell you more about how I, what I do with the podcast, which is absolutely nothing, because I forget to edit them. They just stay where they are for a while. But... Do you listen to KRTS radio? Yes, sometimes. Good. Listen to my show. Do you cook? Mm -hmm. I love cook. Oh, well, have a have a dinner party, man. Okay. I love. Know? Yeah, I love uh, Mexican. Food. Maybe I'll bring something from LA. There you go. Okay. Bring me a boyfriend while you're at it. I'll do what I can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smuggle, hey, I'll meet you. Too. Smuggle them on the plane. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Susan. Yeah, you can have. Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, she's she, she's adorable. Um, I love her karma. She's got a good karma. I feed off people's karma. Are you only hanging out with Spanish speakers? No, I like. You know what I'm into? You like the white man too? Huh? Actually, I do. Uh huh. Yeah, they're like my priority. Oh really? White boys. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is your target? Right. Yeah. Well, roll. Okay, let's uh, close up shop. Okay. I'm going to Padres. Thank All you right. very much, man. Appreciate it, sir.